What is going on? What's up, Diabetes Daily Hustle? Welcome. It can't be Diabetes Daily Hustle if you're not daily vlogging. What is up, guys? I really missed you guys. I just decided to pull out the camera like literally 15 minutes ago. So it is Friday afternoon, about 2.30 p.m. I'm wearing the same clothes as always, so I haven't been gone that long. And I just want to give a big shout out to everyone that's been messaging me and supporting me through my absence on YouTube. And I, I, I know this sounds weird, but I kind of hate when YouTubers complain or people on social media complain like, I'm sorry, I've been gone. Like nobody cared, but I want to say thank you to the people that have messaged me and a special person on Instagram. That was the last string that cut it. I was like, screw it. I'm going to vlog. I don't know if I'm going to put it right here, but he sent me a long message. He said, you know, all the way from Belgium, I appreciate what I'm learning from you and the humor you bring and, you know, having diabetes for 20 years and I'm still learning from people like you so thank you and, and I was like why am I complaining I asked myself this question and shout out to Gary V I learned this from him I asked myself this question what do I want to do with my life I want to help people living with diabetes I want to inspire them encourage them make them laugh put a smile on their face bring less suffering in the world in terms of diabetes and I'm already doing that why am I complaining I just want to do it at a bigger level why stop vlogging why post less on Instagram the reason why I posted less and I don't want to make this too long because I have a lot to say and I won't I'll just kind of like spread out throughout the day it's been in the worst place eating mentally wise forever like I've been in this funk for probably ever since I came back from New York I was really on top of my shit when I was at New York because I was alone traveling you know focused around a lot of diabetics and a major accomplishment for me to be at that event and be on the panel came back haven't stopped binge eating then I've only worked out for like maybe four or five times in this past two months so you know I wake up every morning and I'm like I don't care I want to go you know in my shifts I'm gonna go eat this cookie at the library or I'm gonna go buy a sandwich or like just complete carelessness I was like why am I vlogging let me just like get off the break let me just upload podcasts and do whatever I want like kind of rebellious and basically i'm gonna see a, i was supposed to see a therapist wednesday but i was too late for the appointment gonna see him next week so i'm pretty excited about that i'm slowly but surely as of august 19th 18th i don't know but as of today and a couple days prior to i've just been like waking up I was like okay if you're gonna eat a lot of crappy food and stuff that you know you shouldn't be take it slow relax like still work out if you're gonna go eat a sandwich get at least something that's gluten-free pre bolus for it and calm down don't splurge don't feel like it's the end of the world that's why i binge i feel like it's the end of the world like i've done so bad i might as We'll keep going so nonetheless guys i'm going to anytime fitness i'm walking i did a pump change if you guys really wanted to stay posted on where i've like really been it's instagram still so go follow me on instagram right here yeah i'm like 200 right now dex is reading it's on my thigh right now i changed it just now because blood sugar was running high but i had a cookie this morning and i was like what is it because of the cookie i took too much insulin no it's a sight so nonetheless go work out play some music thank you guys for tuning in i missed you i love you take care I have the lights off, but I'm about like 220, slight arrow down. Dex is reading, comfortable on this side. I thought I was gonna run low, that's why I had like a peach before I came here, but didn't help. Third set going for 12 reps. I feel like working out, but accountability from here. Usually weight training spikes me, but I'm taking it easy. Don't want to spike. I have 200 arrows straight down. Arrows up and down scare me because I even spike when I'm low or flat or drop. So I gotta stay on top of that. Just finished up, it's almost four o'clock. I did uh, two more rounds of different exercises. Stick to legs though. Dex 160, slight arrow down. Machine said 180, but obviously he's trying to stay on top of not dropping too much. And then I gotta walk back home for another 15, 20 minute walk. <sighs> So it is about six o'clock post haircut you like I don't know same thing Dex is being in a little in, a little inaccurate and this might sound confusing but whenever I I guess there's a drum like a drastic change in blood sugar like I was 180 after my workout and then Dex was reading flat arrow 150s and then it said 109 slight arrow down hard part about not following Dexcom like I don't want to follow it every single move it tells me because it's gonna change and it has a time delay so I followed every move I was like oh my god I had a tablet and the lollipop which is seven carbs for about 11 carbs 
hours before my haircut. I didn't want to go low during the haircut. Embarrassing, I know. I didn't, and it said 1, like 50, arrow up, something like that. And then I came back home, checked the machine. I'm like, 109. I'm like, yo, Dex, you're tripping. That's why we need to slow down, be in tune with our body. Finger stick when in doubt. And what's a day in the life with Ali without showing you a freaking, at least one meal, which I'm really tired of doing. Some ground beef, uh, chuck, cut up, cut up chicken thighs. Some garbanzos, artichoke, um, hearts, tomato, three eggs cooked in butter, guacamole salsa. By the way, just today is like a huge win for me. That's how like much I've been in a funk. Like eating at home, I have not been eating at home. Everything has been out outdoors. Been like my taste buds are screwing up right now. Just a bunch of sugar, a bunch of carbs, like unhealthy carbs. So I'm eat this. I took one unit before my shower and before I turned my beard. And Dex is like one ten flat arrow, and I took another four units. Uh, the one unit was just the pre bolus. Plans to see the Halloween movie. Hope I don't want to go alone. <laughs> So we will see. Hey guys, so being in the state I am with how I was, you know, changing my taste buds with eating, I really want to share this and I feel like it's a helpful tip because I really went through hell with it. The way I was eating was like, I didn't even want to eat any kind of protein, no fats. I just wanted to eat a bunch of carbs or like burritos or donuts. And then I would feel gross after and I'll come home and I'm like, I don't even want to look at like avocados or vegetables or eggs, nothing. I was like tired of eggs. I wanted to like egg eggs. I like chocolate. I learned that the more I work out, the more I feel better and then I get in tune with my body if I eat something even hours ago I'll still feel like full from it or I'll feel weird after it digestively speaking I'm not really blood sugar wise if I have relatively smaller meals before I work out which I like doing you know feeling kind of empty I start to crave protein I want vegetables I want tomatoes I want avocados I want chicken I want you know all the other stuff the temptation of, of carbs right now bread and rice is really high in this period but right now like as I was cooking I had like a piece of uh, wheat toast like a little bit now after that meal I I feel really satisfied and I don't even want anything except to have like a drink a low carb drink or some water and, and if I want to eat like a snack later I'll get a halo top or something that's relatively not too massive so baby steps for me so appreciate you guys tuning in I will probably end this vlog pretty soon daily diabetics 2 that's another YouTube channel collaboration channel I'm on the link is in the description like I said follow me on Instagram I'll show you guys if I go on the Halloween Michael Myers movie today I don't bowl this for horror movies at least I don't know I should <laughs> hey guys so it's about 7 p.m and i want to share this blood sugar is about 157 160 range and i'm like you know what let me go for a walk it is post-workout i'm gonna be really sensitive i was like right before i press one unit or two units i know you can't see me sorry um i was like no 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 think about your walk that's gonna drop you and it's good timing i should have never had this seven carb vitamin drink i just i like having a drink after and i'm not being i haven't been as meal prepared or, or drink prepared as, as i usually you know being that i've been binge eating so it's really it's dark out nice weather just play some music walk for like 15 20 25 it should be good let's go all right y'all it's 9 27 i'm at the theaters um finally flattened out 108 dex is reading arrow flat i'm gonna see halloween and i'm trying to get my second instagram post so i can take a photo next to it i'm gonna set a temporary basil because i'm probably gonna have a protein spike pretty soon or just a temp basil because i'm gonna be sitting down let's go we're we're making a podcast and we're investigative uh, journalists dang it dang it Dang it, I didn't press record when I outroed this vlog. It is the next two days, guys. Next two days. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Um, I just wanted to say I'm not gonna be doing daily vlogs. I'm probably gonna be uploading three, four times a week. Just stick to subject requests and things that I really want to get through. You know, I'm just trying to get me good before I can start doing daily vlogs or figure out what I want to do with this channel. Obviously, I want to grow and daily vlogs is one of the ways that's the hardest ways to grow. But I wanted to add this message being that my blood sugars are going to be more erratic and harder to control. And I, my theory is whenever I do come back from a binge, one being that I've had so many calories that were sporadic. You know, I'll have one day of a lot of calories and one day a little bit. And then having foods that really trigger inflammation like sugar, dairy, gluten. I don't expect my body to go right back to normal. I'm going to have headaches here and there. I'm going to feel, you know, weird and deprived after certain meals. Nonetheless, though, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot. Hit the like button, comment down below. As always, Diabetes Daily Hustle. I will see you soon. Take care. I like cereal. I like potatoes.